How's it going guys? It's that time of the month where we take a sneak peek at the next update that's coming to Horizon 5. In this case it is Apex All Stars. We're going to see if we can figure out what new cars we might be potentially getting, take a look at the clues that we have and see if we can figure out features as well etc etc. We're going to take a look at all of that. Now quickly before we do some Horizon related news lately. Um, Horizon 5 seemed to have a bit of downtime yesterday. The game was actually well down. Forza Support tweeted out that we are aware that some Forza Horizon 5 services are down. This was 13 hours ago as of when I screenshotted that message and just 12 hours ago they were said it was fixed so it was only an hour or so but it's quite unusual for Horizon 5 to have a some downtime like that. The next update in Horizon 5 as we said is Apex All Stars. If we have a look at the splash screen right here we can see we've got new cars, a new collectible, new event lab props and new events. Now I'd like to focus on the new cars first as that's everyone's favourite thing. Now we can actually get a bit of a gist about what these new cars could potentially be by taking a look at what the series is called. Now it's called Apex All Stars. What could that mean? You may have clicked that Apex is the name of the road racing outpost in the Forza Horizon 5 world. We obviously have the, the Rush outpost, we've got the Wilds outpost, and the Apex outpost is the road racing one. So that straight away gives us a bit of a hint that this is going to be a very road going focused update. Road races, you know the races on the Forza Horizon 5 map that are usually blue, those are road races at the Apex outpost. So that gives us a bit of an idea that they're focusing on road racing this update potentially if that's what this means because we have seen this in the past where they will base an update around a certain type of outpost and give us features and cars based on that theme if we look back at series 5 which is over two years ago now we had horizon rush takeover now that is a festival i think it's around pr stunts that festival is um based around and as you can see the features we got were all about PR stunts. We, we did get some new cars. We got a stunt park in the stadium and new PR stunts. So that added up with the outpost. And we also had Horizon Wilds takeover as well last year, I think it was. So they've focused on the Wilds outpost. They've focused on the Rush outpost. Maybe they're focusing on the Apex outpost in this update. Which makes you wonder, are we getting any road-based features like a new temporary road race? A new temporary road Goliath race, perhaps? Essentially making this update Horizon Apex Takeover. And when you see how they've worded it as Apex All-Stars, it just feels like the, 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 the saying Apex All-Stars are on about a group of cars that are just insane uh, apexes hitting apexes the word apex is a physical term in in racing it just seems like they're hinting towards this update having a bunch of cars in that are apex all-stars they are amazing at road races track cars you know could be quite interesting so what could we get in this update well i mean we just have to look at the the leaked car list for example all of the cars that have been leaked in the files so far anything that stands out as a really good road going car even a track car it's would would to me, be classed as an Apex All-Star. One thing we can be probably fairly sure about nowadays is that there's going to be a car pack within this update. It really wouldn't surprise me. Maybe it's going to be the, called the Apex All-Stars car pack, perhaps. As always, I will be giving some away, so make sure you stay subscribed and stay tuned for when we give away a load of them car pack codes. What we've spoken about a million times now, I'm sure you're aware, these leaked cars here that have proven to be accurate because out of these nine leaked cars very recently, only three of them are remaining to be added to the game. The Maserati MC20, the Bentley Flying Spur, and the Aston Martin Lagander. Now... We've probably said this for the past three updates in a row now, but surely this is where the Maserati MC20 is going to come to the game. That is a perfect Apex All-Stars car, do you not think? I'm not the only one who thinks that over on Reddit. If we just take a look at some suggestions about what people think would be fitting for this update, we've got the Bugatti Bolide, the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute, any Rolls-Royce, the 2023 911 GT3 RS. I've seen a lot of people want the 992 GT3 RS. You can see on screen right now, there's several people wanting that car um again this update seems fitting for it if what we're presuming apex all-stars means it's it's perfect 
So it might be the third update in a row that we say this, but I would I would still put the MC20 as a possible car for this update, along with the Bentley and the Aston Martin Lagander as well, because they are the other two remaining. We've got the Volkswagen IDR. That's a very track-based car. I wouldn't see why it wouldn't come in an update like this. Lots of different opinions, lots of different wants in terms of cars for this update. We can, again, also take a look at the top 20 most voted cars. This list right here over on the suggestions hub are the top 20 most voted cars that the, that the community's voted for so again if there's any road racy type cars on this list it may be what they're working on the Bugatti Belide is actually on this list whilst I don't think we're going to get that the Maserati MC20 is on this list for example La the Lamborghini Rivuelto if that's how you pronounce that there's a few that could come to the game another thing to look back on is obviously we have Forza Motorsport around nowadays and there's definitely been a correlation between what cars Motorsport have got and what cars Horizon have got they've definitely mixed and matched and given us cars between them both these are all of the cars that have been added to Forza Motorsport within since its release. So if you see any, I guess, I suppose we can actually factor in track cars for this update that could come to Horizon 5 that aren't already in it. Some of these cars will be in Horizon 5 already, but some of them that have been added to Motorsport that haven't reached Horizon 5 yet, this might be perfect for any of the road going apex cars. So while we don't have many exact guesses for cars, if you're into your road cars, there's high hopes that some of them will be quite good. Obviously cars aren't the only thing we're getting in this update. There's a new collectible. We're not gonna bother guessing what that is. New event lab props. Perhaps these are going to be related to road racing as well. Maybe they're related to the theme. Event lab props seem to be coming into updates quite randomly. Some really bizarre stuff. We had dinosaurs a few weeks ago and there's definitely not been a dinosaur themed update. So event lab props, we can't really guarantee that they're all going to be road racing themed props, but still more props and new events. We've narrowed down nowadays that new events just means new races, like new festival playlist stuff. So that is essentially nothing feature that's new. What we do at least have for this update is high hopes that the cars will be exciting. Now speaking of cars, we obviously talk about leaks on this channel. There's not been any new leaks lately for what might be coming next. But over on GT Planet, Kelpy D had a had, had a relook at a few certain files, and he found a few things that he hadn't previously found before. And I thought it was quite interesting, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys. And it's a bunch of Horizon Edition cars and a few other cars as well, not just Horizon Editions, that obviously haven't made it to the game. And it, it, there's an awful lot of Horizon Edition cars there, some of which are quite interesting, like the the Lamborghini Centenario Horizon Edition, the Koenigsegg Regera Horizon Edition. We've got the McLaren MP4-12. C Furious 7 edition, the McLaren 570S Vorsteiner, I think that's how you pronounce that. So there's some interesting cars there. Because this was found from files quite a long time ago, we're not even going to bother considering that these might come in the game. It's just interesting to see that these were obviously considered and written in code at some point. I'd love to know what you think about update 33. I think this is now. Are we on update 33, I believe? Yeah. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think. So in the comment section below, give me your predictions. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all later.